Hey everyone, welcome to the final fight of Bravely Default. Today, we're fighting this secret boss at the bottom of the secret dungeon, Dimensions Haspure. This dungeon is accessible by accessing the best ending, the final chapter, Bravely Default, and then uh, talking to Yoriana and DeRoso. Yoriana will then open the uh, area to Dimensions Hasp, which is on the Crescent Moon Island on the north, sort of the northwest of the map. Northeast of the map. <laughs> I'm bad at directions. Anyway. Setup we're going for this fight with is Tiz is a vampire with miscellany. We want him to have examine. Examine is very important. We need to keep tabs on health. Abilities are uh, absorb physical damage, BP limit up, and maximize HP. It's honestly not that much helpful. I mainly don't want to have to waste time getting giant stars out at the start. Um, I only want to have to renew them if need be, but... I want maximize HP on everyone, so I don't have to, to worry about that. There's not that many abilities that are really helpful against this guy anyway. Um, so yeah, BP limit up just so I can, because I'm going to be I'd be defaulting a, a good bit. Um, on yes, uh, invocation and summoner, or counter and summoner, I should say. Max HP, setting pure cover, and magic critical. We're going to want to raise our magic attack and our crit rate to deal more damage with Susana O mainly. Ring a bell is a pirate with uh, holy arts. That's a very weird setup, but we're going to want Rampart, and the other thing I'm going to mainly be using is Desperation, which is adding our physical defense to our physical attack. Um, so I just, I was, I want something that was really high in physical attack. Uh, this is probably a better job, to be honest, we're not really going to be using any piracy abilities at all, but, I don't know, it, it doesn't really hurt to have him as pirate. Um, Adia is a Dark Knight with medication. Again, a very weird setup. We're really not going to be using any Dark Knight stuff. It's mainly Dark Knight for the defense part of it. So she doesn't die as fast. I guess we could go with something more defensive then. But we also want her to be fast. So Dark Knight's really one of, their, one of the only options. We can also use Minus Strike if we need to. But mainly, really it's going to be more beneficial for us to heal and use Dragon's Breath rather than use Minus Strike. We want to be at high health the whole fight. And also she's going to be there to give Anya's MP, her MP back. With uh, half elixirs mainly, or dry, yeah, half elixirs? I think so. Yeah, half elixirs. And inflict, uh, reinstate giant's drafts if anyone dies. So, equipment. Um, we all have silver glasses to resist blind, and that's pretty much the only thing we really need to come in with. I have brave suits on Ringabel and Adia. Adia, so we can um, just start with more BP mainly so she can attack faster because she's going to be really doing a ton of damage. And ring a bell so he can um, rampart faster. Also, shouldn't you have haste in world? You do have haste in world. I didn't go over abilities. Just haste in world to maximize HP. You have redoubled effort. He redoubled effort uh, raises attack based on BP. Again, there's not much else I really could give him. I guess I could give him a standard physical attack up, but this is more interesting. And we're probably going to have a lot of BP from haste in world and defaulting a lot. So... I don't know. Sounds cool to have that. I, it probably would be more beneficial to have a physical attack up, but I wanted to go with this anyway, because I'm an idiot. Uh, I believe that's everything. Uh, so yeah, equipment. Everyone has silver glasses. That's pretty much the only specific thing we have. You shouldn't need much else. <sighs> Let's do this. So, past this chest at the very bottom, you need to walk past it into an invisible wall. There he is. I doubt any human eyes would see this place save mine. What do you say? Fancy match, as long as you're here. Let's do it. Alright, you're on. I'll hold nothing back. So, this final battle is pretty, pretty difficult. So, right off the bat, Tiz is here mainly for healing with White Wind. Um, we also could use like Fireball or Energy Burst to try and attack, but he's not that strong in this setup, so it's really not that beneficial to do that. You immediately, I want to get your buffs out. So, Susano and Deus Ex. You use Rampart immediately. You... Should I start with a Minus Strike? Who's faster, you or Tiz? Definitely Tiz. Um, is there anything I can get out now? I don't think so. I'm just going to start using giants, uh, dry, Dragon's Breaths. We have plenty of Dragon Fangs. We probably actually don't have enough to last the entire fight. But that's fine. Actually, don't use that. Don't use that yet. Uh, just go ahead and start by using standard attacks. Like, go ahead and use Flagitions or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, none of them are weak to any specific element, I don't believe. So, actually, uh, with Tiz... Actually, let's get... Okay. That's White Wind, and let's get an examine on the adventure. 
Okay, so that's bad. Um. Wow, that sucks immediately. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. Okay, well, um. That's acceptable. At least we have the Rampart out now. That's all that really matters. Uh, how fast are you, adventure? 99! Okay. Rampart now. <laughs> you. What is Tiz doing? I don't. I, I'm so fucking. Um. Okay. What you need to do then? We need to get Anya's back. Use. X Potion and Phoenix down. And then Giant's Draft on her. And hope. She should maybe hopefully live? Who's going first? Ring a bell or Adia? Kind of a toss up. Hopefully Adia though. What am I doing? What did I what am I fucking doing? Dragon Fang. Okay. This should work. Because well I guess we'll see. Okay. So yeah, okay. So Adventure has mass slash, as you saw. That uh attacks everyone. Really strong physical attack. Bad. Um and it also it's that standard attack, where it just hits one. That's the best thing it can do, because it's not as dangerous. Um, it can also, later on, when it's weaker on health, use Meteor. That's fucked. Um, yeah. So, an ability the combat has. The combat's going to do a couple of things. It's going to attack, as you saw, which killed on us. That sucked. Um, so it's going to attack, and it's also going to... ...need to be examined. Uh, it can inflict blind on everyone, which again, not an issue because we have whatever on us to resist blind. And it has Adventurer's Friend, which is going to give the Adventurer 3 BP. That's why you have Hasten World. In theory, it's pretty dangerous to give the Adventurer BP because the Adventurer is going to uh, use Mass Slash or Mass Slash or Meteor twice later on when it's weaker, but. Uh, since it's gonna get BP anyway from the combat, I figure it can't really hurt. So we haven't really been able to attack, but this should be fine now. The combat will also shield the adventure from any and all attacks, which, obviously, that's a bit of a problem. We... So, we need to basically take out the combat and then focus the adventurer. This fight is pretty slow. You need to take it very, very carefully. But... That should be fine. Actually, something I never thought of. Oh my god, I, I just realized something that... Hold on, let me let me think about it. Let me fucking... You go after idea, right? No. Hold on. What does this do exactly? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait, no. Can we suck the out ice? Oh, it just sucks. It does the previous action in the turn in general. Okay. I was thinking um, the way that would be helpful would be... It would be that uh, basically like Adia would use Dragon Spets to deal 999, and then Tiz would follow that up with a Mimic and deal, do the same thing. It could be helpful with Rampart, maybe. No, it wouldn't. What am I thinking? That's stupid. <laughs> uh, we do need to get Rampart out, though. Let me do that. And uh, then you... You should just do phlogistons again. So, again, we need to do with the combat first and then hit the adventure hard. The reason I'm using phlogistons is because it hits both of them and will also hit the adventure. If we use Dragon's Breath right now, uh, that's bad. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, if we use Dragon's Breath right now, the combat would block that and basically take the 999 and be not a waste of Dragon's Breath, but not a great use of them. We're using Susana O, Summoning Magic, because it hits both of them and can't be blocked. Normal Magic can't be blocked either, I don't believe, or multi-target Magic could be blocked. But Susana O is really strong, and we can follow that up with really strong Invocation as well. So that's specifically why we're doing... Th why we're doing that. We do need to heal. Basically, yeah, Tiz is going to be healing every turn. <laughs> which is unfortunate, but oh well. Um... You still have your buffs, keep attacking. You can do three Susana O's. We do need to keep tabs as well on Anis's BP, MP, and I guess her BP, but mostly her MP. So we can be sure to give her back 
Give her it back whenever need be. Yeah, so it also has to spell. The combat is to spell, which can get rid of our ramparts. Which is why Ring Ball is basically going to be doing that almost every turn. Because we need it almost every turn. Um, Merchant might actually be a cool thing to bring into this fight to give Vingbell BP, actually. I didn't think about that. Or a performer. I guess I could make him a performer. Because I'm not really going to be using Pirate Bellies anyway. That would have made more sense, but it's not very strong for Desperation if I wanted to use that. I don't know, I guess I'm going to be using Rampart anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Do you go first, Tiz? 86. You might, and Rampart's like the last thing that went out. Mimic that? I guess? Well, Mimic and, and heal as well. Because if you heal first, you'll just Mimic the White Wind, and I don't want that. Uh, you, keep attacking. We will need to give you your MP back soon, but that's fine. You just keep using Flood Resistance. We want to make sure that when the Adventurer, or when the combat dies, we just go all out. Oh. That works too, I guess. I didn't think about that. That did decent damage. Pretty much better than anything Tiz could have done on his own. So this should kill the combat, if I'm correct. But this should. No? I can't scroll over to see his health. Okay. Okay. So, does Anya or Dia go first? 72, 77. Probably a Dia. Okay. What I should do... You'll actually definitely go first. So what I'm gonna do... Is... I'm gonna throw a couple fireballs. Where the hell is fireball? I guess I could use fire rush as well. That's really strong. You know what? Yeah, use two fire rushes and a white wind. You... Send out Susana O's. Actually, you need to get your buffs back. Um, I'm actually going to hold off on this while Anis gets her buffs back. Because I want to be able to go all out in the adventure when the combat dies. So yeah, you get buffs. And then next turn... Next turn I'm going to have Tiz kill the, the comrade. So, Fire Raja, and then a Mimic to make sure it dies. You, you can use your special, and then you can attack. You, if the Fox dies, just default, just default. If the Fox dies, then we don't have to worry about what the adventure is going to do next turn. Uh, assuming Tiz goes first, you just use Dragon's Breath. So, let's see how this plays out. I'm not positive it's going to go super well. Mass Slash, okay. That's fine. Okay, this has worked out pretty much exactly how I would have wanted, so this should kill the Fox. Yes. And then, Adia and Anya are going to go full blast. Well, Anya is going to go full blast on the adventure anyway, but this is going to do a lot of damage. Okay, so now, that's good. We got a lot of damage out this turn. That went pretty much exactly how I would have liked it to. But you need to get Tiz and Anis their BP back, or MP back. I somehow keep getting these mixed up. That's fine. Nice, and then Susano is going to do even more damage reliably with that magic attack up. If it doesn't even crit. Nice. Okay, sweet. Um, You're definitely going to go first. So what I'm going to do is just do two Susano's. Get our ramparts back out. And give Tiz and Anis their BP back. MP, Jesus fucking Christ. I believe it's a Turbo Ether and a uh, X Potion? Yes. Heals and gives 500 MP. Really nice. When the Fox dies, the adventure use Call Combat to bring him back with full health. So basically right now the Fox has 50,000 HP. I'm not really going to so much worry about the Fox's health then. Uh, I just need to actually do it definitely because that was like really solid strategy against it. So I'm actually going to examine it next turn. I was thinking uh, it didn't matter, but it does matter. We need to examine it. So... Uh, White Wind, because we need, definitely need the healing. Where is it? There it is. Uh, I like to have that out just in case. You never know what's going to happen. I'm examine. Um, you can just attack still. We don't... We should get the Rampart out, because I don't know what's going to happen. And you... Can start using... I think actually like Dark Matters do a lot more damage. No, it doesn't. Okay, well... I don't know, I'll use it anyway. It looks cool, at least. Has a cooler name. 
and it's not as much of a waste as using dragon, uh, dragon's fangs. So, we have the exam going on. I just want to make sure. Okay, yes. That's important. Okay. We didn't need the healing then, because the vampire helped, but it's fine. Oh, I fucking... I examined the adventure. God damn it. Okay, well, that's good, because it used to spell. I'm glad we got the, uh, the vampires back out. Unfortunately, you did lose your buffs. That's unfortunate, but oh well. That's fine. Unfortunately, Invocation does as well take a lot of MP, so, um, that sucks. Okay. Let's examine the adventure this time. The, no, the combat. <laughs> I say the wrong thing, but I scan the right thing. Ugh. Get your buffs back. Which is going to take a lot of your MP. Should I give you, or BP, should I give you that back? I said MP right the first time. God damn it. <laughs> I don't think I need to give you that back. I sure should, should I rampart. I'm gonna say no. And then just dark matters. I don't know how low I should have ramparted. Should be okay. Um I don't know how low the combat is. It shouldn't die this turn. We haven't done nearly enough damage here, I don't think. Uh, because Sanoa wasn't buffed. Yeah, okay, we're fine, we're fine. Basically, I want to make sure when the combat's gonna die, we were able to go full out on the adventure, and not have to worry about, um... Like, it absorbing any Dragon Fangs, mainly. It can absorb, like, one. But otherwise, I want them to be all out on the adventure. Uh, and this is a great way to kind of moderate that. To make sure that... Because we can use Fire Aja and Mimics. You should just attack. I'm gonna give you your MP back. You get that rampart back out. We definitely need that. And you, yeah, you give. Um, what am I doing? Give honest MP. And then dark size. Okay. Line. That's fine. Mass slash. No. Okay. Perfect. That's fine then. Because if I can use mass slash next turn, if I had to guess. I say it. It's a. It's a human. I shouldn't really be saying. It, but that's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter right now. Uh, that's fine. That's actually solid as hell. Um, again, Tiz is going to go first, ideally. So he should go all out. Light wind, healing. And then I'm actually going to do three fire rages because I'm not positive that just two will kill. It probably will, but it can't hurt to get another out anyway. Um, it doesn't really matter if we go all out with Anya's because she's going to damage the adventure a lot in the, uh, any turn, because... Um, what am I saying? Because summoning magic isn't in, isn't hurt by multi-target, because it's the only thing it can do. I'm actually going to... I'm actually just going to have you go all out. I, it's probably a terrible idea, and it might screw me, but I'm just going to have you do four dragons best. I definitely want to get this damage out. I don't want to waste another turn. Please, Tiz, go first. Even if... Oh, it can also cure itself in the adventure, but that's not that big of a deal right now. So I didn't get the Rampart up because it doesn't matter. As long as we kill the Fox, then the adventure wastes a turn bringing it back. And then we can get the Rampart out that turn, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, you healed yourself, so that's going to be a bit of an annoyance. Well, that's... Eh. We wasted one, but that's fine, I guess. At least we got three out on it. Yeah. Oh, well. And Anius will do the damage as well. So yeah, this fight can just kind of take a while. But you do need to kind of keep up the entire time. You can't, um, you can't, uh, take a break, basically. We're actually going to do that. Actually, hold off on that. You can use your special now. Actually, can't hurt. Just use it now. Actually, <laughs> just use it now. But don't brave and do an attack, because I want to be able to hit the fox hard. And you can just Rampart. And after this, we're actually going to use Tiz's special to get uh, BP back for Ring of Bell, so we can use Rampart again sooner. So it's going to hit the Adventure and raise Onyx's magic attack. Which is going to allow us to hit the fox really hard and get a head start on damaging that guy. Okay, so you use your special and examine. Actually, I guess in this case... You should uh, just use like Fire Rages and a Mimic. And then your special just get the BP benefits. And you should just keep attacking. 
attack more than that because you're, you're gonna get MP or PP back anyway. Uh, you, Vampire, actually. Should you do that? I guess it, um, I'm gonna use it just to be safe because I don't know for sure what he's gonna do. And then. This just It doesn't matter what element we use because it's gonna do the same damage either way. Vampart Vampart was a good idea. <laughs> Never mind. I was about to say bad idea, but nope, it was good. Uh kinda wish you haven't you hadn't uh done that then. Because you gonna get buffs, but fine. At least you gotta do a slight magic attack up from the special. And this is gonna help us with healing. White wind does count as white magic, so it does build up to the special, that's why I haven't equipped with the staff. Uh, and also just to improve his healing in general. Though that doesn't matter actually, because it's based off his HP, so it doesn't matter what healing has, but that's mainly why. So we can get a special and get us BP. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep having you heal, because I'm, I'm scared all the time. Get your buffs, and then attack. You. Oh, it's always a toss before when he's Rampart. Did he just use Mass Attack? I think he didn't, so I'm gonna use it. And then you just... Actually, we need to get an examine out. I don't think the fox is in danger of dying. But I definitely need to get the examine out. To make sure of that. I think it'll live through this turn, so I'm not really concerned about that. You're already starting to use Meteor. Okay. That's... That's scary. Um... It's not really even a good sign, because usually when, like... Usually when a boss goes into its desperation thing in its... in any normal instance, I haven't examined it, so I don't actually know how much health it has. I know how much health he has, and that's still a long way to go. We still have a lot of fight left, so that's still worrying. We still have now another terrible attack to deal with, one that's not blocked by Rampart. The good thing about it, though, is that Ramparts will last longer now, so t Ring Bell has more of a chance to build up uh, BP, because now Meteor's gonna go out. It just means you have to be more diligent with healing. Um, that's all. So not that big of a deal. Um... I might want to default with Ring about this turn, then, because he might die if he does Meteor again. Uh... Yeah, just default. You could take out the Comrade. Tell you what, let's, um, let's do this. Let's do a Dragon's Breath on the Comrade, to bring it down to really low health. Ah, Sash, okay. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. Should be. I'm so worried, man. So yeah, this is gonna bring the adventure or the combat down to really low health. That's not... I didn't... think about this... enough. God damn it. Uh... Damn it, I didn't think about this. I forgot I used Susano at all. Damn it. Well, I guess just do this. I don't I don't know anymore. <laughs> I kinda fucked that up, but that's fine. At least we're doing something this turn. I, if actually if I remember correctly. I just can get the ampart back out. Um if this call combat is meant to go at the end of the turn for sure. I might be wrong on that. So we should be able to get some damage out this turn anyway. Not as reliably as if we had timed this better. Never mind. God damn it. Well, that's, that's okay, I guess. At least this will let us get back to the combat being dead sooner. As well this. If it doesn't kill it. It, it shouldn't kill it. It's not going to deal 50,000. It's a pretty significant amount of damage to deal, so... Let's do another examine. And throw out a white wind, because it's probably gonna do he's probably gonna do either Meteor twice or Mass Slash twice. Either way we're gonna take some damage. Um you use your special. And the adventure the combat's probably also gonna use dispel, if I had to guess. I'm gonna fall. Or blind, okay. I was thinking we'd use dispel, so I was gonna refresh. Or wait to refresh on his buffs, but maybe it's gonna use it next turn then? I don't know. Either way, let's get the special out. Comet's 2033, okay. Um. It'll probably heal. If I had to guess. So. 
let's do some fire ashes. Hopefully kill it, even if it heals. You, Susana, oh. Um... Amp Strike, I guess? I don't know. You don't really need to use Rampart this turn. I'm gonna regret saying that. <laughs> Hopefully not. So Tiz should kill the Fox. If not, then at least the Fox will be really on health. Meteor, okay. That's fine. Spell. Damn it. That gets rid of Anis' buffs. Uh, well, that's, that's okay. That's fine. It'll still deal damage, at least. So I'm not too upset about that. Kind of wish I'd thrown out some white wings. We can do that next turn. It doesn't really matter. That Amstack actually did really solid damage. Wow. Okay, cool. So I don't know, I'll need like 3,000. Well, that's something at least. I don't really mind too much. Well, six times with a crit. And then, of course, you got these 999s going out. 999s. Four nines. Okay, the buffs don't really matter. Really, only one that kind of matters is Onuses. But, like, 20% is such a minimal amount that I don't really care that much. Um... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna play it safe this turn. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. So just, uh, White Wind. Yeah, just White Wind. I was, I was trying to think... I was trying to think of, like, Examine, but, like, Examine won't work right now, so... Uh, get Anis' buffs back. You... Get our Ramparts back out, for sure. And you, for one, get Anis' and Ring of... Uh, Tiz's BP back. It's gonna be way more important than anything else we can do right now. Uh, we could attack, but realistically, Adia's not gonna go before the adventure. The speed difference is just way too much. 99 to compared to, like, 77. There's such a slim chance, yeah. So, I don't even know how Tiz went before the adventure that one time, and his speed is like 80-something, 80 86. So, it's just, it's not likely, it's probably not going to happen, so. Might as well just get set up done on the turns when the adventure's going to call the combat back. It's basically, basically a wasted turn, like there's not much we can do besides obviously hurt the fox, which we're going to do other turns anyway. So, I'm not really concerned about that. You... We can only use Amstrike twice, so it's really not a reliable strategy. Adventure is probably going to do either Meteor or Mass Slash. And if it does that one attack, this where it just hits one, that's not a big deal. Let's just continue with the Dark Matters. Mass Slash, okay. Either one's kind of fine, because I don't think he's going to do it twice in a row. I hope. Um, also, if I had to guess, or the combat's going to use Dispel this turn, it tends to, when it comes back, it tends to do Blind, then Dispel, and then just kind of do whatever. Actually, does it do Adventure's Fen first? It might. I don't know for sure. I think it does it... Uh damn it. I don't remember. I think it does Dispel first to get rid of our buffs, and then that would make sense. Because it gets rid of the buffs, and then allows the Adventurer to attack more. That would make sense. So I'm actually going to reinstate her buffs now. And then... Should I ramp? Yes, I should ramp her. Absolutely. Jesus. And then attack. I don't think the fox should be that low on health. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. You're going to kill Anyas. Um, at least Tiz isn't dead. Uh, that sucks. Uh... This is actually, like, the best time for it to happen, though. Really. Because... The adventure is low on BP. We can't have it break for now. Yeah, so... Let's throw a Phoenix down out. And a White Wind. Let's do another just in case. I don't think I'll need another, but I want to make sure. Um... I'm not going to use the Rampart again, I don't think. I'm just going to default. And then you should go after Tiz. So do a Dark Matter and do a Giant's Draft. That should be good. I if As long as Tiz goes before... Of course. Uh, of course. Uh, 
Well, that sucks. Anya's might just die then. Again. I guess, uh... Let's Rampart and let's try and get her the Giant Strap. She might just die again. Is it, if it's Meteor, she might survive. Never mind, she's dead. Oh, wait! She lived! She lived! Oh my god! <laughs> I guess, yeah, defaulting is enough to let her survive. That actually kind of sucks though right now because... Well, the combat's not going to be able to do much. Never mind, it's fine. White Wind and do it again just to make sure we're, we're alive. Get your buffs back. And then you can attack. Adventure or the combat should not die. Um, even with the Dia's attacks. So that'll do 4,500. 999 times... Well, 9,000 times 3 is like... 27,000. Actually, it might kill. I'm just going to default with a Dia. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Because Anya's attacks... I don't think it'll kill, but you get really close to killing. But no, she's just doing two. It's still going to get really close to killing, though. And it's good to moderate HP like this, so I don't really mind kind of screwing that kind of numbering up. It'll at least be in like the like 13,000 range, yeah, 14,000. Um, you have your special again. We should... There's not really like a best time to use this, to be honest with you. But mainly it's for BP, and if anyone dies. Let's, um... Let's do a Fire Raja, and a White Wind. Or Thundash, it doesn't really matter. Um, use one Susana Arrow. Default. Or you can just use Rampart again. Uh, and you default. So in theory, this will bring the Fox down to really low health. It won't kill it, but it'll be pretty low. And then next turn, Tiz can finish it off, and we can do the standard thing that we've been doing. Yeah, okay. So... Let's... Yeah, let's just do this. Thundaja, and then Mimics. You can use your special. And Susana O's. You... Should you Rampart? No, don't Rampart again. That's, that'd be stupid, because you're gonna kill the Fox this turn anyway. And uh, what else but dragons, uh, dragon's breaths? Okay. Oh man, this fight's really stressful because it's just like you have to moderate everything so much. This is fine. Um, it'll still die. I don't know if Tiz will kill it, but it'll still die, so it doesn't really matter. Tiz might kill it. No, there's actually no way he's gonna kill it. But if Anya goes before Adia, that'd be best. But this, that's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, whatever. It's it's fine. There's certain things I thought things could just go wrong. It might or may not heal itself, so it's just hard to guess that. He's below 100,000, though. Jesus Christ. So, uh, while we're getting to the end, um, we're fine for now, I think. We should be, at least. He's pretty, like, so far away from death, relatively. You need to make absolutely sure that the adventurer and the comrade die on the same exact turn. If the comrade die, or if the adventurer dies and the comrade is still alive, the next turn the comrade will bring the adventurer back with full health. Trust me, that's not something you want to happen. It's soul crushing and it's devastating. Um, what am I doing this turn exactly? Two Susana is rejuvenation. We can use one dragon spell. Well, no, that's stupid because. It's gonna hit the fuck. You know what? We have plenty of Dragon's Fangs left. We can probably do that. Like, that should be fine. Because we should have enough to get through the fight. At this point. Um, it's so weak. Or he's so weak at this point that it should be okay. Um, this is probably a super time to use this, admittedly. But it's at least gonna give Anius more, uh, more BP. That's the main benefit. Yeah, okay. So this is fine. And then, uh, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is take this very, very slowly from here on out. So, let's examine the combat, let's do one more Susano, default for everyone else. Because, their HP, 
if I'm thinking should be about equal? Not at all. Um... Okay. We should default this turn, because I figured he's going to do two mass attacks, and we need to live, and we don't have our ramparts. I think I'll risk it with Ring about and have him do a rampart. Like, if he die, if he dies, then we're fucked. Fuck it, just risk it. Mass slash. Ring bell. Ring bell survive. It'll be fine. Yeah, so we can also cure the adventure. I'm not really worried about that right now, though. So. Let's do. Let's do a white wind. Let's do two of them, actually. Um. Do. Two Susanos and you. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna do two Susanos. He pro he would definitely live. I just really don't want to risk that damage. Yeah, because again, I want to make sure that the adventurer does not die before the combat, because that's, like, really bad. Okay. So now... Now it's just really careful moderation of health, that's all. Um... So we can do one more Susano. We can actually do two more. Um, and then we can do... Yeah. So let's do two Susano's. And then give Anya's her BP back. And then when the fox comes back, we'll examine it. And then kind of moderate its health with uh, with the Dia, with Dragon's Breaths. And then get it to a point where Anya's will kill both of them in one hit. Or with one Susano, or a couple of Susanos. That should be okay. I definitely don't want to attack. I should have just used more Susanos or attacked that turn. And then he would have been dead. This was the stupidest thing I've ever done. He could, I could have just won that right then there. Whatever, it's fine. I was thinking way too far ahead. Um, get our ramparts back out. Yeah, that was stupid. I could have just killed him then. Oh well. Tiz, you examine. And there's no way we're going to kill it with four dragon spets. So I'm going to go and do them now. I'm going to even target the comet. I shouldn't have to, but I just want to make goddamn sure that it's not going to hit the adventurer. Um, I'm using a white wind, yeah? I think so. I hope so. I think there's a ramparts. That's not that big of a deal. Um, or am I just doing an examine? God damn it. Okay. So... One more dragon's breaths, and then... Then Susano, and it should be over. Well, actually, get your buffs back. That part. Dragon spell. Hopefully we live. That would be nice. Tiz will live. Oh, okay. That's, that's fine. This is perfectly fine. Um, in fact... We don't even need Anyas. Yeah, we don't even need Anyas. We can just, uh... Just do Dragon's Breaths. And we'll win. Please. <laughs> as long as Adia doesn't die, this is over. Okay. And the Adventure should fall this turn as well. That's it. Oh, man. <laughs> you don't get anything for that fight. No XP, JP peak. You get a potion. That's fucking great. And an adventurer's mark. Marvelous. I'm well and truly bested. Didn't see it coming, I must confess. That was the most fun I've had in ages. Anytime you care to go again, just say the word. Anytime at all. Say, so you can fight him again if you'd like. Kind of you to call again. What do you say? No. No. <laughs> Sorry, but no. 
That was the most stressful fight. Jesus fuck. So, yeah. Let's look at that adventurer's market. I think it's a key items. The market adventure. That's all you get. But it proves you beat him. Oh, man. That fight's just stressful because you need to moderate health so carefully to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Uh, to make sure that the adventurer and the comrade die in the exact same turn. Again, if the comrade is living when the adventurer is dead and you don't kill the comrade that turn before it brings the adventurer back, the adventurer comes back with another 530,000 HP. You're basically restarting the fight. It's not fun. Not that it ever happened to me, of course, but it's I can tell from uh, uh, friends' experience, it's not fun. Anyway. That is it for Beyblade Fault for the foreseeable future. I say foreseeable future because there are other nemeses out there that I might fight in the future. I can't guarantee it because mainly I can't guarantee I'll get them. But if I do get any of the interesting ones, um, I will fight them. But I can make no guarantees because, well, again, I can't guarantee I will ever even get them. Because uh, it's Street Pass. I don't know, it's not reliable. If there ever is a way to hack them into the game in a way, then I will do it. But, uh, again, there's there's literally no way. I, I don't think that exists yet, and I can't guarantee it will ever exist. So this outro is going on way longer than it should have. <laughs> but that was the adventure fight. Really, 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 really hard, really stressful refight. But I'm glad I did it. And I did it without stillness cheating. I'm really happy with that. A lot of fights, a lot of people online say, yeah, just use stillness. It's the easiest way to do it. And yeah, it, it is, but... I'm glad I found another setup that worked really well. It's so mainly you need multi-target magic, and Dragon's Breaths are always helpful. Just ways to easily moderate health. Dragon's Breaths are, again, a great way to do that. And examine, you need that to do so. Uh, and then multi-target, which someone knows the best. Multi-target stuff, so. Oh, man, that's it, though. That's it. So, I guess... I can't wait to see you guys next time, because I, I don't know if there's going to be a next time, so. I guess just... Thank you for watching Bravely Default for this whole time. I'll see you guys later. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe check out some of the other series I've done. You can also consider subscribing, checking out my Patreon page, or joining my Discord server. There are links in the description to those, as well as other social media links like Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for watching.